guys. So today is going to be my July favorites. This year is just flying by, which I'm sure you've heard already if you've been watching tons of favorite videos lately. So we are just going to skip all that and jump right in. So the first thing I want to talk about is a hairspray, but I just want to give him a quick little shout out because I did talk about him in my All About Hair video, which I will link somewhere over here or down below if you guys missed out on that. But it is the Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Touchable Weightless Hairspray. I am just obsessed with this hairspray. It is so amazing. Um, I've never been a hairspray person. I didn't like the crunchiness. This, none of that. Super, super weightless. It's got argan oil in it and it's just phenomenal. I have it all sprayed up in my hair right now, but you can still run your fingers through it because it's just that amazing. So just wanted to shout him out really quick because it's bomb. The next thing I want to talk about is the L'Oreal Ideal Clean. This is a brand new one because I've already gone through one of them, so I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. Um, this is just a makeup removing towelettes. It says they are effective for removing all traces of makeup, even waterproof mascara and long wearing makeup. So absolutely been loving these things. You guys know that I switch up my um, uh, Sorry, I'm distracted by the TV, it's on. <laughs> you guys know that I switch up my makeup removing wipes because I don't think it's great to keep with the same thing forever and ever and ever because then you just get bored of it. So I like to switch things up. So lately I've been using these and they are the L'Oreal Ideal Clean. And I don't know if I just said it, but they are for all skin types. So if you've got dry skin, sensitive skin, oily skin, combination skin, normal skin, these will work for you. The L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder. There are mixed reviews out there whether this is good to go or a no-go. In my opinion, it is good to go. I love this stuff on days that I want to just hurry, hurry and go. I'm going to be doing a review on it because I, I'm like bouncing all over the place. I need to calm down. I'm going to be doing a little review on it because I want to give you guys my uh, full opinion on it and show you how I apply it now because I do apply it with a brush now because the finger situation was just taking me way too long to apply it even though that's what it does recommend on the back. So I have two colors here because my skin tone has been all over the place. So this is true beige and this is sun beige. They're just two off. This is 326, this is 328. So got two of these little bad boys there. Can you hear that? Straight up liquid inside, but I absolutely love these. Even though I'm a full coverage kind of foundation kind of gal, these are right up my alley. I don't know why, but I am a fan. So the L'Oreal liquid powder. No, what is it? Magic Nude Liquid Powder. Next, 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 what do we want to talk about next? Is it random that it's a L'Oreal product? It is the L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur Instant Smoother. I believe that I mentioned this in a favorites video before, but I wanted to talk about it again because I think I know I've talked about it before, but I think that I said I wasn't sure if you could wear it underneath makeup. You can totally wear it underneath your makeup because I wear it underneath my makeup and I have no problems with it. It's just, oh. Oh, talk about pore perfecter. If you've got enlarged pores or anything like that on your face and you want a really smooth makeup application, I recommend this to you immediately. Like, pause this video, go to the drugstore, and pick this up. I don't really know if it's considered a primer. I love wearing these two together because this just kind of makes my face look flawless to where I don't even really need any help. And this just kind of covers any discoloration that I may have on my face. So these two together, ah. How many times am I gonna sing today? I'm in a really goofy mood, so wash out. When I was in LA for Generation Beauty, I was um, a guest or the guru at the Pacifica booth, so they gave me a bunch of products to try, and I really hadn't got around to it just because I have so much stuff, it's ridiculous. But I finally got around to trying these, and where have they been all my life? So the first one is the Seafoam Complete Face Wash. <laughs> Let me try that again. The first one is the Seafoam Complete Face Wash. Face? Face? Wash. There you go. And this one just removes makeup, cleanse, and tone. It's got coconut water in it, uh, sea algae complex, and powerhouse antioxidants. And it says it's good for all skin types. So this is just a foaming face wash, which I absolutely love foaming face washes because they just make you feel like all sunny and fun. It's also sulfate-free and non-drying. So if you've got dry skin, this will work for you. If you've got oily skin, again, combination, normal, anything like that, it does work for all skin types. And it removes all my makeup off my face because I have been trying to give my Clarisonic a a little break because I honestly think that's what is breaking out my face and I'm having a heart attack as you can see they're back she's sitting on the side right now I'm just gonna let her chill over there for a second maybe I'll come back to her in a couple of months and fall in love with her again but for this minute we are broken up been using this and absolutely loving it and then the other one is the dream youth day and night face cream which just looks like this mm. 
I still use my Josie Mayer and Argan oil. I slather that on my face at night before I go to bed. And when I say slather, I mean it. Like, I'm dousing my face in that oil. But this stuff I like to use in the morning because I put all that oil on. So I'm still going to have some of that oily residue. So I just wash my face with this in the morning and then pop this on. This is really lightweight. Again, it's for all skin types. I'll read you what it says on the back. It says it minimizes the look and fine lines and wrinkles, deeply moisturize and protect, promote a lifting effect, and improve skin radiance. Again, this is the Dreamy Youth Day and Night Face Cream. And this one was the Seafoam Complete Face Wash. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with Pacifica products too because they're all natural and everything like that. They're vegan, cruelty free, they have no petroleum, parabens, or pathalates. I have no idea if I said that right, but we're gonna go with it. Next, this one's kind of random. I was up one night really late, like always, and I was watching, I think, Shop NBC. I love like HSN and QVC and all those things when I'm really bored, especially when they're talking about makeup or hair or skincare, anything like that. I'm all about that life. So I was up one night watching it and this came on and it was skin by Dimitri James and it was the body balm extreme 12 butter and peptide rich body cream so it just looks like this and I've had this thing I've meant to mention this a couple of times in my favorites videos but I just forget it in the bathroom or it's hiding it's all over the house all the time because I use it constantly for everything so I've had this for a while and as you can see it's still like completely full this like dent that's in here came when I actually it was like that when I got it it smells so amazing, I almost want to eat it. It says, this elegant body cream contains the butters from 12 exotic plants and contains no water and no petroleum. Also containing advanced peptides and stabilized oil-soluble vitamin C, this advanced formula will help condition, firm, and tighten your entire body. I use this stuff everywhere, and you seriously only need, like, this much. Like, it is so... I, I luxurious I guess that would be the word for it it's just so phenomenal I put this stuff in the ends of my hair at night before I go to sleep my cuticles every single part of my body gets covered in this stuff I'm just gonna say it's bomb.com these are two that I have been absolutely loving they're both by Christian Dior and the first one is Miss Dior which is the new Miss Dior it's the pink one the other one's kind of a yellow color I love the original Miss Dior this one is even better I'm gonna spray it on me right now oh if you love really Maybe that wasn't the best idea. If you love really clean, fresh scents, like you just got out of the shower and you're just so fresh and so clean, this is the smell for you. It is phenomenal. It lasts with you all day long. There's nothing worse to me than spraying a perfume and the whole scent is gone within an hour. I like ones that linger with you through the entire day and I found that Christian Dior perfumes linger the entire day, so it's one of my favorites. The next one is Pure Poison from Dior as well. This is for all you nighttime sex kittens out there. This one is such like a seductive smell. This is definitely a nighttime smell. It's pure poison I can't even I wish there was like scratch and sniff so you could scratch 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 the screen and you could just smell it just take a whiff and that's the only reason I really don't talk about perfumes because when I'm just like oh my god it smells so good you guys are like yeah I can't smell it so how would I know I want to talk about a little bit of teeth whitening because a lot of you guys have been asking about the whitening lightning and if it really works and all that stuff because I know that there's tons of people that talk about it um, but it does it really works it's worked for me it's gotten these babies whiter than they've ever been before and all I do is I don't follow the directions that come with it I don't even know where my directions are anymore I just take the gel that it comes with it I stick it on my finger and I smear it all over my teeth and then you just pop this light whoa, whoa. Wow. in here like this I leave mine in for about 25 minutes just when I'm doing whatever sitting on the couch doing absolutely nothing I'll just have this bad boy popped in there just wanted to shout it out again and say I have been using it for a really long time and it does make your teeth whiter just keep 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 using it just because the first time if you don't have like a dramatic difference in your teeth don't give up on it just keep going I use this thing probably about once a week and I've still got a pretty lot of gel a pretty lot of gel I still got a good amount of gel left this is from it cosmetics and it is a brow pencil it is called your brows but better it looks just like um, a regular brow pencil you know it's got your um, pencil on one side and your throw it on the floor on the other and your spoolie on the other and the cool thing about this brow pencil is it matches to your brow hairs so this is a universal brow pencil people with any color of brows can use this which I absolutely love so if you are a dark haired girl I think universal pencils are the best for you because it's really hard when you have dark hair and you want to fill in your brows because um, you can look back at some of my older videos and see whoa girl those brows are crazy and they are way too dark 
this will help prevent all that super darkness because it's going to blend to your pH balance and it's going to kind of give you the best brow color it can. So you don't have to worry about finding a pencil that's too light or too dark for your brows. This takes all the guesswork out of it so I absolutely love it. Universal brow pencils, if you've got dark hair, these are going to be your best friend. So I just wanted to quickly talk about some lip balms and these are the baby lips. I think these are called like the neon collection or something. This one's like mint, mint, mint something. Stop throwing everything. This one has like no color. Your lips aren't going to be green or anything like that. And I think this one, whoa, is called like rose something. And this one does have a little bit of color as you can see. So these two are my favorite out of all of them. I love minty things and I love rosy things. Plus, I really like the wash of color that this one gives you. My last video, a lot of you guys asked what was on my eyes, and it was actually just this little Maybelline quad, which is called Coral Oasis. And these are this, all the colors. I just used this whole palette. Nothing else was on my eyes except for this. These are really inexpensive. I love these Maybelline Eye Studio quads. I have almost every single one of them. This was on my inner tear duct. This was the yellow color. It is actually green, but it looks yellow on me. I don't know why. Then I have the orange on my lid and the brown in the outer corner so just wanted to shout this little guy out because so many of you guys asked what was on my eyes so okay this one is a random product and I honestly don't even remember where I got it from but it's another kind of a primer I saw him lingering over there I wanted to mention it when I was talking about the miracle blur but he was hiding from me so this one is in French and I think it's called like I have I didn't take French in high school or college so I have no idea how to say this um, but it looks like this and it's just a little tiny pot and it's actually a primer and it is a really really luxurious smooth primer when you first touch it you're like I don't really know what that is um, but then it just covers pores flawlessly it kind of takes your face to like a matte finish I don't even really know why I'm mentioning this because I don't even really know what the name is and I don't even really remember where I got it Ooh, I'm gonna google it and try to uh, give you guys a link down below if you want to check it out and see what I'm, what it is I'm talking about because I don't even have a name for it and I can't even say the name and last but not least this is the Beauty Secrets nail polish thinner since I have taken off my stilettos which I'll probably get them back because I'm kind of kind of missing them <laughs> But maybe I'll stick with my naturals for a little bit longer. But anyways, um, I've been painting my nails obviously a ton now. And since I haven't been really... I had those stiletto nails for probably like 9, 10 months. So i kind of been neglecting all my nail polishes. And some of them are a little thick because I haven't been using them. This stuff will renew any kind of nail polish you have. Stop shaking your leg. Um, you just put a few drops in it and bam. It's like you have a brand new nail polish. Because I hate when nail polish is like so thicky thick you can't even like paint your nails with it. This is a thinner and it will help all that go away. Um, some people say you can drop acetone in it. I just don't really like to drop acetone into my nail polish because I feel like it's going to eat it. So um, I like using stuff like this. So you can see that I've used a bunch of it. And I've had this bottle seriously forever and I feel like I'll have it well, maybe not forever since it's halfway done, but I've had it for a really long time and you can find these at Sally's. But those are my July favorites. I uh, think that is it. I'll think that is it. So I do have back to school videos coming up probably within this next week. Leave me a comment down below if you are going back to school and let me know what day you're going back so that I can get those videos up before that day. Um, I've seen some people say the 20th, I've seen some people say the 15th, so I just like to get a rounded number so that I can try to get all my back to school videos up before you guys are actually back to school. So other than that, my favorites are complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, I will talk to you guys soon.